Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Part four of Pokemon Crystal Legacy. How the heck is it going today? We are going to be taking on Koga, the Safari Zone, Silphco, and hopefully we're going to make it all the way to the, the, the very dangerous, the very scary Sabrina. Um, we're going to start things off with this route right here, which is, I think, Route 14, because I'm actually starting to learn the Kanto routes. And we actually have a pretty hard string of, of trainers here. So that's kind of fun. Um, we've basically got from here down to Fuchsia uh, with progressively challenging uh, trainers. It's, it's one of the harder routes in the game, I would say. Um, just behind probably the, the, the path to uh, Cinnabar Island and then like Victory Road. So I think we've got, you know, we, it's like a good opportunity. Get some experience in for the gang here. We're going to hit the Safari Zone, which I've actually never really been in the Safari Zone uh, in Christ Yellow Legacy. Crystal. I say it every time. Um, so we're here and we're going to give it a shot. And hello. What's up, chat? We got that spicy overlay coming in. We've got chat, which we're going to just go boop. We're going to just make that a little bit bigger for the replay gang. All right. And we're going to take it and we're going to go. Oh, that's not right. But how's that? I think that's good. It's a big silly heart in the way, which is kind of annoying. But anyway. Hello, everyone. What's up, Mariah? What's up, Dork Knight, Gunfred, Justin Valentine, Unholy Chaos, Zach, and Wartortle, who's getting a spicy level 33 in. Got some experience there. We love to see it. What's up? How, how's everyone doing today? Welcome. It's good to be back. We've been on a bit of a bit on of a Crystal Legacy grind. Been been pitting it pretty pretty consistently, and uh, I just wanna I just wanna get through this. We've been like little bit behind on a on our upload schedule i feel like this is another bird yeah of, of course you're another bird trainer it's like four bird trainers back to back through here um yeah so <sighs> it's tough you're gonna do me dirty like that i mean i did myself dirty by by adding that but uh we'll send oakla fable anyway um yeah we've got we've got things below us spicy the bottom little section very excited. I finally put the work in to set up like legit stream donations. So like subscribing and members and, and super chats and even real donations now should be set up. It should work. I really hope so. And uh, yeah, we even have text to speech. So it's it's all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, yeah. Um, if there was a generation three, I would have asked for Brock to have Mudcap. Or if this was in Generation Three, that's an interesting. That's an interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Uniqlo, Anthony, Pablo, Super, Zach? How's everyone doing today? Hi. It's good to be back. Yeah, I, I, uh, I've been hitting it, been hitting it well. Okay, Alka is just coming in here, and here's the moment. Clockwork Norse became a member. There it is. It worked. Alka, let's get some claps. Has been a a true homie. Thank you so much. That's that's very kind. Um, I love it. Let's test some things. Hell yeah! I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, that's awesome. I love I love that that's working. So so yeah. Nice, nice. Congratulations. Yeah. So this route, like my goal right now is I actually want to train Ivysaur because I just think like the next two gyms <laughs> are not very Ivysaur friendly. Um, so it's just like kind of tough when you got a lot of pharaohs to deal with. Uh, Brendan, what's up, man? Welcome back. Says, uh, when we'll be able to get Jinx? She'll be in Cerulean, like red and blue. Yes. Uh, we'll be able to learn Dream Eater for sure. You know what? I'm going to send Ivysaur in. He's got this. Um, yeah. So Jinx, I think we're... It do be like that. Uh... I was really just hoping for the AI to play it dumb and uh, you don't get what you what you want sometimes. <laughs> um, I think we're just going to add Jinx back to the trade in red and blue. To me, that's like a very iconic red and blue trade and it, it's always like, ugh, that's not in yellow. Jinx is really good um, and I want to make it accessible. So I, th I think, yeah, I think that's, that's the spot. Um, and yeah, it makes sense to be able to learn Dream Eater, I suppose. Uh, Justice 
for Rock Tunnel Ride On. Alka, I know you're about it. We added Cubone to Rock Tunnel, though. What do you want from me? Oh, oh, I should mention, um, because Super Chat shows up in the chat, I, it's only like Streamlab donations that will do text-to-speech. So if you want text-to-speech, do Streamlabs donations. It's a top link in the description. And if you want, uh, oh, a Hitmon Lee. If you want your message to be read just on the screen, on the screen, uh, do super chat. Um, I think we got, I think we got a Pokemon for this. Also, Pidgeotto is gonna take a hit here. Pidgeotto is two levels away from Pidgeot, and that's very exciting. The weird thing with with Wing Attack is it's sixty base power, and and Double Edge is a hundred. Yeah, okay. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We have a solution. Check out this Nightshade from Haunter. It's 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 Gen 1 Shadow Ball. Ooh, Ry Rhyhorn 1% Rock Tunnel. That's a pretty clean damage. We actually had... we. Ha hey okay it was a little late but there it is popping up brandon mcgrath super chatted 10 bucks nice it's a little late but it will it will and alka super chatted too okay it's a little late but but there it is um that's funny yeah it's nice seeing nightshade do some damage like i don't know it just feels it feels a whole lot better in my opinion so mm. No, I knew Pidgeotto takes neutral damage. I just, I just had confidence in it. Anyway, I'm excited for Pidgeot. Um, like I said, it's weird when Wing Attack is your, is your super effective move, and it just would do the same damage as as uh, neutral, neutral uh, double edge because we buffed double edge to 120. Can Crystal Legacy do the player character palette swap glitch? I don't know. I've never tested. Probably. Hmm. Poor War Turtle. Man, honestly, poor squad. It's it it truly it truly is four bird keepers in a row. Brandon McGrath, sorry, asking about another favorite. When will Horsey be available and able to learn the Dragon Move Slam? Thing with Horsey is like it is truly a, a creature of the sea. You know, it's you can't really shoehorn it into like earlier than that. So it will be like actually like Horsey will be available like as we ar arrive in fuchsia so not amazingly early but cedra is like actually very slept on in this generation like i think people think of later cedra and it's like well i just want kingdra but kingdra and cedra have very similar stats because in gen one special is 95 and it's just, just special so it's 95 attack 95 special de defense um and that is really good because that's exactly what Kingdra has for special and a special attack. And I'm pretty sure a similar, maybe it's a slight buff on special defense. I don't know. Kingdra's quite bulky. Um, and it's got good defense. The only thing I think is Kingdra gets more HP and maybe those stats go up a little tiny bit. But what I'm getting at is, and I guess you know this if you're asking, uh, I I think it makes sense just, just to finish that up that, that, Kingdra should learn Slam, probably. We gave it to Onyx and Gyarados and Charizard. Uh, I hadn't actually written that down, but I will... I think Cedra. I mean... You probably should just for the culture, right? Just for the culture, because it does become a dragon type. Anyway, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Kevin says, had a thought about Charmeleon from last stream. How about swapping Rage for Bite at level 24? You could do some flinching mechanics. That's actually not a bad suggestion. I know some people really like Rage because it, it's a PP conserver. So it's just like a, it's like a time, it's like a convenience thing. Um, I'm going to write that down though. I kind of like that. Charmeleon. Whew, whew. Um, Charmeleon. Whew, whew. How did I miss there? That's, that, 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 that. <laughs> come on, my guy. You got to hit those for total. Anyway, Charmeleon Bite. Yeah, I'm wondering if it needs like a bit of a mid-game power move that isn't uh, Rage and Scratch. Because <laughs> you get Slash, and that's sick. Oof. 
my chop hurts. But anyway, Kevin Thomas, thank you so much. Appreciate that. And uh, Mugawera Patrick. Hello. Hi, Patrick. It's Patrick. <laughs> Oh yeah, Rage is a TM. It's very, very good point, actually. And actually, you would get it at about about the same point, wouldn't you? So yeah, you wouldn't really lose much. Yeah, Evie will be on Route 23 with other starters. Okay, so I would like to avoid some trainers right now. I don't know. I'm just... I don't know where they're located. Okay, we nailed it. Because uh, the, the squad is kind of hurting. So as I said, it is not the easiest route. Like, it's... In this section of the game, it's like the highest level trainers until you get surf. Actually, that is the highest highest level trainers until you get surf. Yeah, and, and yeah. Um, also, I kind of have a petition to like add a ledge, maybe right, maybe right here. You know, like this is the, this is this this wall could just not exist. Actually, the whole thing could not exist. Like Fuchsia City, I hate you, Fuchsia City. <laughs> so I'll I'll glitch my way through you because I. It's such a poorly designed city. Hmm. Oh, Olka. Oh, I think. Dang, I thought I had it set so that the minimum donation for Texas Beach was $3. But you can still donate less than that. And that is why the Texas Beach did not work. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm glad that Chad is down for fixing Fuchsia. <laughs> Dude, it's it's not good. It's like... It's... Oh, just look at this. Is this the Safari Zone? Oh, no. It's... How do you get... You need cut to enter the... Like, what? It's awful. This whole place is terrible. I need cut again? It... <laughs> It is the worst layout in Pokemon history. It is so inaccessible. Like, there's a mart behind Cut. Whoever goes in this mart? That's, like, the first time I've probably entered that mart in my life. I'm just a... I'm a big Fuchsia hater. It's just... It's so awful. Smith for Mayor. Okay. Keith donated 223. How soon will you see Rhyhorn? We're about to see Rhyhorn. Also... I see, like I said, this is a, a bit of a trial run with the, with, with the donations. I see it gets, it gets too big if, with the message too. Oh, you don't need cut. See, and that's why it's that bad. Anyway, um, we are going, I'm going to show off all the areas because they've actually been updated quite a bit to be like unique. Um, yeah. There it is. How was the volume on that? Keith, my guy. There you go. Caught a Rhyhorn, just like that. Level 33. That's so good for this point in the game. Oh no, was it too quiet? Oh, see? This is, why is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet? Look at this, look at this. Dude, it's so quiet it doesn't even pop up on chat. All right, don't donate. D just, just use Super Chat this stream. I still got to figure it out. I'm sorry, guys. Marowak, by the way, we thought... That's a really strong Marowak. We thought it would make sense to put it here since it's, like, endangered. Oh, my God. We're just catching all the good Pokemon. Honestly, Safari Zone is pretty good now. Like, you could kind of come here and make a new team. <laughs> Damn. Man, notification. Yeah, you got, you got, yeah, you got the value on that one. Being routed to output and monitor. Because you guys don't even have, you guys don't even have sound, don't you? There it is. There's your sound. There's your game sound. 
And I can't. Using cut after the fourth gym hurts. We got it sorted, chat. <laughs> yeah, Safari Zone should be for picking out your last team member. I completely agree. Like it. So what we've kind of done is this first area is kind of like a mix of everything. And then we've got a bug section, a sort of kaiju, like bipedal monster section. And then there's one more section. Extra spicy section. I actually just can't remember what it is. That's why I'm... Yeah. Man, I kind of want to run Tauros. I won't lie. TT Texas Speech is about 0.7 Smith voice units, by the way. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. I could just turn all the volume up a little bit. Yeah, I'm surprised we even caught anything. I, I feel like... I feel like Safari Zone should be a relatively challenging catch. Because there are a lot of good Pokemon here. Um, I'm not going to go for that. Pinsir? That's a low encounter here. That's actually a very low encounter. Love Crystal Legacy. Thank you for the entertainment. Is Rap was saying the same priority? Is it possible to add negative priority to it in-game? Um... That would be really nice, wouldn't it? I think we're just gonna leave the priority out, um, and we're just push we're just pushing it quite late on a lot of teams. I, th I think that's the simplest way to, to balance it. Um, okay, so this is the kaiju section. By the way, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Um, I'm kind of just throwing pokeballs, and it's like if we catch it, we catch it. But <laughs> um, so Nidoke Nidoke Queen and Nidoke King, the 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 chat wanted this. Because Nidoran and Nidorino is super lame. Like, if you think about it, it's like, oh, I see that all the time. So we really buffed the Safari Zone. Like, we added cool Pokemon. Because you kind of want it to be, like, an exciting place. I don't know. To me, it's like, like all the cool, you know, kaijus. I, I now actually know what that word means. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hyper Beam Tauros, yeah, broken. But if you want it, and you want to, you want to spend the cash on it. Um, I'm just like I don't know why, but my 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 headphones are hurting my ears tonight. So I'm just gonna take those off for a little bit. Max Potion, nice. Behemoths is a better term. I think this is the uh, bug section. Yeah, so you can catch some really strong bugs here. This is where you'd go to get Scyther and Pinsir. Even though we did encounter a Pinsir, that was actually, like, really low odds. It was, like, a 5%, I think. Um, is this what we even want? I kind of went the wrong way, didn't I? Like, I'm very close to where we want to be. Uh, we got a secret battle against Mr. Mime. At the end, after returning home from beating the Elite Four a second time, walking in on Mime. With your mom! Um, no. I'm sorry. I just think that goes against... You know, that's not a canon event. So... I just think that maybe... Maybe it just would go against the, the vibe of the game a little bit, you know? <laughs> Respectfully... That is a terrible idea. <laughs> Brendan! Oh my god, chat, let's get some hearts going for Brendan. This man is coming through. Any changes to the execute line? Also, any chance to get trade early Eevee before its evolution? Um, Jolteon learns Thundershock at 16. Um, yeah, I suppose we could make Eevee earlier. Um, but we're not gonna... I don't want to make... Like... I don't want to put your EV earlier any any earlier than it is. Like I think it's it's very good to get a Jolteon or a Flareon or a Vaporeon when you do. I just don't know if I want to put it any sooner. I just think like that's a good spot. Um, what was the other part of that though? Because the other part was a yes. Oh, execute line. Um, we've made Egg Bomb Grass type, so it's a it's a hundred percent ac. Dude, Grass type is is eating in this game. Um, 100% accurate, 
100 power grass move. The reason we can do that is because Razor Leaf is so good. It's, it's 110 base power. So it's a, it's, a, it's a unique move for just Exeggutor, basically. And it's really good. Probably would be really good on Chansey, because I think that's the only one that learns it. Um, do you guys want to see any more of the Safari Zone? I did. We didn't go into that other other section. I can just... Uh, I will I will show it off if we're here. We got Koga coming up, but here's what we'll do. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll just we'll just cheat just to save some time. Um, I think if I go up here and then this way, I think this is the one. Oh, maybe I can't go in. Not oh, nice. Um, this might be the place we're looking for, or we may have already been here. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, so Safari Zone is mandatory. So this is the Kaiju area. We've already been here. Or maybe that's all of them and it just doubles. <laughs> it's funny how much grass can be buffed and still be bad. I know. I know. It's very tragic. Hmm. So that's like this area. You kind of get the vibe of this area. We've got where we just came from. I know I can never, <laughs> I can never like make my way through here. Like there's the, there's the end house. And then if I go down here, this is the bug area. There's your scyther. Yeah, we'll probably have to change the mechanics a bit. And then here is our another area. My first name is Smith. My last name, Plays. Maybe this is the only other area? Yeah, here we go. So ex Execute, I guess, is kind of the big one here. Rhyhorn. Cool. All right, well, yeah. Um, Knit Arena. So it's, there, you know, you've still got Knit Arena. Oh, this is the intro area, actually. Okay. I think you need a map. I know, right? I don't even... I've never been very good with a Safari Zone, to be honest. Is this our bug? Yeah. Well, you guys get the idea. That's generally everything. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, thinking of making a website that can allow players to battle and trade. Um, I would say that's what the Discord is for. Um... The only thing I would consider making a, a website for is like the document because that Google doc is slow. Cause like there's, if you go to the Google doc, man, like there's always like at least 20 people in it. And like, like when the ROM was kind of like just coming out, it was peak. It was like a hundred people in the Google doc at once. So I don't know. I do think like maybe it wouldn't hurt to invest in Squarespace, like, you know, 10 bucks a month and something like that. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so this guy gives us strength. Um, as you can see, we got a really big bag. We'll give uh, Clefable strength. And big, big upgrade for the tort. Um, nice. What else we got? Double team. Quite good, actually. With the badge boost rage terrible cut rock slide blast toys learns rock slide i believe it's like do you give it you know i don't know i don't know it's tricky it's a tricky tricky question it's a tricky tricky question chat what do you think made a copy of the doc to have it offline that's a good point yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so then move name, move, move name. Don't know if that's possible because they're specifically named what they're named. I know it's really annoying. All right. Um. So guys, we got Koga. Let's take a shot at these junior trainers, but I think we're not, I don't know if we're ready for Koga, genuinely. Like, <laughs> this man is kind of cracked. <laughs> um... Like, he's got 45s? Like, the game is supposed to spike, but that just... 
seems like a lot, you know? Like, let's... I don't, I don't have, I don't have ground, and I don't have psychic, like, 36, okay. I mean, I have surf. Oh, the juggler! There it is. Sometimes I just, I do stupid things. Don't question me. Oh, I love when Razor Leaf doesn't crit. <laughs> All right. Chat, the squad is not... The squad is... Oh, we do have Dig. Okay, we need to get Charizard. <laughs> That's what we need to do. Because Charizard will actually be able to land out some pretty meaty Digs. So, it's... <laughs> this gym is, is Charizard, I think. Would you like me to make a website for the documentation? Possibly. Possibly. I might actually be interested in, in getting some help from that. Um, Justin, you you got the double. I like it. I, I like that we have that little bar below the chat to just kind of kind of highlight like, like, you know, channel support things. It's cool. It's very cool. Um, oh, we also have cut. I always loved how the back sprites in Gen 1 are low res, like a pseudo depth of field effect in the trainer's pov. I'm excited. Um, yeah, I guess you're right, aren't they? It's kind of interesting. Oof, man, Hypno. Pretty, pretty lethal. So, I didn't want to have a ton of Hypnos in this gym, but this Hypno is so iconic. Super, super tough fight, always. This Hypno has just always been a bit of a menace. And it was, to me, it was always the check of like, hey, you're underleveled. Um, so that's kind of, that's kind of what that guy is still going to serve as. Um, just the single guy, and it's like, if you're struggling on him, you might want to prepare for Koga, because the man's got 45. So, hey, Brendan, thank you as well. We love it. We love the, we love the love. Welcome to a world of sick emotes. Actually, I do have a question. Oh, Justin has just finished hard mode. CL, GG. Um, at 75 members, I think we're at like 52 right now, we get, uh, we get another emote, and I'm wondering what you guys, what Pokemon the emote should be. I know, I think Zach is here, but if someone wants, if you wanna, if you have any ideas, Zach, I think we're doing pretty well with them so far. I really like the Gen 2 style emotes. They're, they're very fun. Cubone. Uh, I don't know if we have a Cubone one to begin with. Oh, we're so close to, to, to Charizard. Oh, Charmeleon. Cubone. We got Pikachu. Yeah, we have we have high Pikachu. If a member wants to show them off, so you can see which ones we have, and we can get an idea of what we should what we should get. It's so weird. My brain was like level thirty four Nido King. That's not right. And I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> Why are these trainers so cracked? Okay, there it is. We got Pokeball, Furret, Pik uh, uh, Chikorita, Kangar, Wooper, Deal with it, Arcanine, Pupitar, Chansey, Pikachu, Togepi. Coughing and we just added Helix holding a Helix fossil. <sighs> you had to do me like that. And he takes. Oh! Nice job, Charmeleon. I am very proud of you. But yeah, this is the weird thing. So the game really really jumps up at this point. Um, I am so silly. Ugh, but he's smart. <laughs> Not that smart. Um, yeah, the game really spikes at this point, and I don't know, man. It's just... Uh... Like, the level... Like, the... <sighs> Thing with this game is you're supposed to beat all trainers. Like the 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 game was intended for that. So Alright. Big Dragon. I got Fire Emblem 6 after your fan rant last stream. Generally knew nothing about the series other than the characters make up half the Smash roster. Let's go. I love that. Charizard gets wing attack. 
Uh, it's got to be cut, but... That is the normal uh, Golbat sprite for yellow. Yep. You can t you can learn over HMs. You sure can. That is a good sprite for Charizard. I agree. Um, it's definitely the best Charizard sprite. Um, original Charizard was not looking very good. <laughs> I will say that. So I think actually, just to jump back to st ooh, that's fun. Um, I think what we want to do is just go for the evil on. War Turtle 2, because like one or two levels isn't gonna do much to any Pokemon, but an evolution is is quite a bit of power. So, I'm yeah. Uh, people have commented enough times that I feel really bad about it. That I need, damn it! I need to stop lip smacking. So I'm really gonna try my best to all you people that you know have that bothers bothers your ears. Substitute airbox are cool. I like it. It's annoying, but it's cool. Oh yes, the the substitute problem is in fact fixed. Exactly. What smacking? I just did it though. I did that. Anyway. All right. Let's just let's just do this. Ooh, that was some big damage, Arbok. Got me. You stinker. Ooh, if we could get Pidgeot too, that's three pretty big Pokemon. I got. We have four thirty-six Evos on this team. Uh, the 1 in 256 miss is gone. Yeah. I was, like, very on the fence. And the team, like, it's funny because Craig just did it. And a lot of people are like, dude, you should remove it. I'm like, oh, but is that part of, like, what makes Gen 1 Gen 1? And it isn't. It really isn't. Like, a tiny chance to miss is so irrelevant. It might happen once in the whole game. And in my opinion, that's enough that, like, it's annoying but the fact that that's always looming over you, I don't really think that adds anything. Like, I just, I don't, I don't like 1 and 256 miss. Like, if you're Nuzlocking and you lose a Pokemon on a 1, 1 and 256 miss, I don't know. I just think there's better ways the game can challenge you than that. You know? So. Happens more than you think. It does, but... Yeah, I mean, it was probably going to happen, but Craig just kind of did it, and I'm like, good job, Craig. Yeah, <laughs> you just needed to make that happen. Oh, these are box, man. All right, Wartoro. You got this, buddy. Nice job. Whew. All right. Um, we are getting there, chat. Oh my god, I have so much stuff. Let's give War Turtle the iron. Carbo, uh, calcium, Haunter, for sure. Can't wait for our boy Gengar. Oh, we're going to add a female trainer to this gym. That's going to be a, a very subtle reference to Janine. Like, it's not going to be like, trainer Janine wants to battle. She's going to be a lass. And she's going to have a team that... Re she's going to have a Nidoqueen. Queen. That'll be kind of like her, her the big tell. Um... Let's go for it. I don't think we're going to win this fight, but maybe if we get lucky. Damn, he really did that to us. I think one of the problems with Ivysaur is whew, um, it's not available for Brock in this game. And I suppose it is... I suppose it is one of the better grass types, but eh. 
I don't know. WTF is tentacruel. I mean, a really good poison type, <laughs> you know? That gets no love in the entire game. T tentacruel isn't on a single major team, and it's one of the best Pokemon in the game, so. Can you nerf the boosted XP? Um, that's something that I think more people would hate than like, so. Yeah, I love Tentacruel, man. I, I think Tentacruel gets status of underrated Pokemon. And I don't say that to a lot of Pokemon because people really like Pokemon, but I do think Tentacruel is underrated. Ready? You can't stop me. Ha ha. I love that feature. Like that is such a that is such a sick feature of this game that you can just go. You just gotta not listen to him. Oh, we just did a few more levels, chat, so. We're gonna let the team cook a little bit, okay? Overlooked because of Blastoise. It's true. Um, I would argue top three water types in Gen 1 is Blastoise, Gyarados, and Tentacruel. Starmie's better, though. Starmie's better than all of them, actually. I take it back. Starmie's the best water type in the game. But the other three are top tier. Ah, nice. Yes. Yes, Verenda. Verendra. We see each other. <laughs> I felt seen. I, f I feel seen. Oh, Destiny. You Did you learn about it from my video? The most viewed video on this, cha this channel. 13 secrets you didn't know in Gen 1 Pokemon. Alright, we won't level up because we might get a level up move and lose it at, 30, at 37 uh, for Blastoise. Anyway. Big deal, chat. That's two. Uh, only thing holding back Blastoise is oddly low special. Mm, I don't think Lapras is a very good playthrough Pokemon. You get it at a really low level, and unlike Starmie that you get at the same level, Starmie's actually very, like, you get Starmie at level 15, which sucks, but it's actually very easy to come online because you can just teach it, you can evolve it and teach it psychic right away. And then this route has a bunch of poison and fighting types. So it's very easy to train it on this route and get it to like roughly 25 to 20 to 40, uh, sorry, 25 to 30. And then you just roll through, um, you can just roll through, uh, Koga. I kept wanting to say Bruno, but yeah. But we will increase the level you get Lapras for sure. But I'm just I'm just talking base game. I'm not talking like Yellow Legacy. I'm just I'm just saying like actual stats. First Army or Gyarados over Blastoise. I agree. The reason Blastoise is good is because it's it's easy. Like there's there's a very low cost to running it. Ah, oh, you're gonna die, aren't you? You sure are. Um Clefable will be kind of falling off a little bit, I won't lie. They did give Q balls an insane fit. Look at that man. I won't lie, the guy looks kind of kinky. <laughs> I guess I guess we I want I want I want Pidgeot. We need Pidgeot for this fight. Oh, God. I, uh, I'm glad that was a crit, but I think that would have killed either way. Dude, Haunter is... Haunter is something else, man. Early game, will weak guys like Magikarp or Abra learn any usable stat No, because that's just... That's what the game intended, you know? you got If you want the crazy powerful Pokemon, you gotta grind for it. Um, you know, there's cases where it's like, that doesn't make sense, that's annoying. But, like, Abra and Magikarp, that's their purpose. It's like, this sucks ass, but you get the, the two best Pokemon in the game for it. Like, with Gen 1 Magic, or Gen 1 Gyarados is so good. 
100 special across the board. Like, it actually can send out good water attacks with its stab and, like, just teach it, a, a, like, a stab, uh, uh, ooh. Teach it a good, uh, oh, dude, it's so good. Just a good attacking move. It's crazy. Um, well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna run Snorlax, so. Sorry, chat. We're making our way towards Koga, though. Where's my polka flute? Whoa, it's cool that I wasn't facing Snorlax and it still worked. I want Pidgeot. Proceeds to not train it. It died! Ugh. Ugh. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're dead. <laughs> also, Bill, I kind of missed that, but uh, Haunter is the PPSH of Gen 1. I love it. Uh, Chyler, what's up? Hi. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Snorlax is better than Clefable for sure. But Clefable helps you through a lot of the early game. You know? It just... It's very tough because you just got to define the criteria. And if everyone is talking about different criteria for ranking Pokemon, then you can't really decide what the best is. Bye, Justin. Okay, I, I need to pull out Pidgeot. I'm sorry, guys. We're getting there. But, you know, honestly, Haunter is pretty freaking good. So I don't mind giving it some levels, too. Um... I think the fact that Clefable is falling off a bit is expected. Um, and I'm fine with that. Like, Chansey's really good in the early to mid game. So, doesn't need to be good the whole game. You know, like, if a Pokemon can provide really good use for, like, three to four gyms, that's a great Pokemon. You know, it doesn't have to be good the whole game. Gifted uh, Olko. Very kind. You, you've been very, very kind. Really appreciate all the love you've been sending out to everyone. That is so awesome. Keith grabbing this one. Nice. We love it. <laughs> the nice thing is there's a lot of fighting fighters here, so get that easy XP for Pidgeotto. Dude, I can't wait for Pid Pidgeot to get um its big move. All right. It's double edge time, wiggly tough. All right. Um we thought it would be funny to give cue balls like in the later games some cute Pokemon. Um to kind of show like bikers are like purely hard, but the, the cue balls kind of have a little soft side to them. It's kind of fun, you know. A team for this would be Charizard, Tauros, Alakazam, Gengar, Hitmonlee, and Gyarados. Uh yeah, that's a good team. That's a real good team. Oh, fly. Yeah, I'll get fly. All right, Pidgeotto. Show me those levels. You got this. You got this, Pidgeotto. There it is. So proud of you. There it is, Blastoise. I like Blastoise's as back sprite. It's, it is a little shaky, but it, it... I don't know. It's strong. It's because Blastoise has a good front sprite in green. Yeah, big burb, big burb. All right, let's just uh, let's just walls it. Hi, dude. It's crazy to me that this is the same girl in uh, same girl in Mount Silver entrance. Yeah, I do want the original games to launch. It's like, why why are they not launched? It's so ridiculous on, on Switch. Team Sky. Oh, there we go. That's the damage we've been looking for. Dude, we get Sky Attack at 45. No extreme speed on Pidgeot, which is sad. Like, I love that feature. And it wasn't my idea. Originally, someone else came up with it. But, oh, it's so nice. We're going to give it Fly. Um... 
Fly is kind of annoying because, well, you know, but I, I really feel like it doesn't need all these moves, so we can, we can afford like a two moves. Oh yeah, is the Cubone from a champ? I think what we might do is just is just actually make it a Machamp, um, because with, without trade evos, it won't evolve when you get it traded, and that's kind of lame. Like that's a nerf, um, and generally we 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 don't nerf things unless it's like ridiculously broken. Like we haven't really nerfed much in this game, um, so yeah. Also, I'm. I'm really hacking because I'm not even on a bike right now. A high resolution remake. That'd be crazy. Dude, a high resolution remake of Kanto? Sorry. Uh, favorite yellow legacy sprite? Vulpix. Because it's it's the Vulpix. Because Vulpix had the worst sprite, so it's the biggest it's the biggest update. Oh, sorry for back sprite updates. If you just mean sprites, I actually like Hitmonlee. That just comes to my brain. I'm sure there's one I like more, but Hitmonlee is in a cool pose. Yeah. So hard, there's so many good ones, but thank you, Travis. Um, finished my second Crystal Legacy playthrough. Can't wait for this one. Your team has truly brought the nostalgia goggles. That's what it's all about. Yeah, is like you go in the game and you get the experience that your nostalgia remembers. I think that's the I think that is the way to explain this game. Oh, I really want that level, but I'm not gonna get it, so. I don't know, man. Clefable might be falling off. Ivysaur is falling off. I'll say that for sure. Rip Charizard. All right, let's get a let's just get this last route in chat. We are approaching Koga. Thank you so much for your patience, guys. You're lovely. Uh, it's so quite with you mute, muted. Sorry. <laughs> I'm silly. Uh, lack, lack, let, lechi, rig, lechi, rig, lechi, lechi. Sorry. Um, stream two, the very end of the stream has some back sprite uh, peaks. By the way, we haven't uploaded in like two weeks. I'm really sorry about that. We have two videos ready to go, and we've just been held up by sponsors. With uh, and they're awesome sponsors, like. Not mad at them, really, because it, it is kind of been just circumstances owed of their fault, too. It's like shipping. 
So it's like, whose fault is that, you know? Um, it's just unfortunate circumstances. So we got two videos ready to go. Top 10 Gen 1 Pokemon, which you may have seen a little sneak peek 10 minutes ago of what I think. And... Uh, not Raid Shadow Legends. I mean, I would do a deal with Raid. We've done deals with Raid before. Uh, Whatnot, which is a really cool website that does like like uh, bidding, like eBay live streaming. It's, it's kind of cool. Excuse me. And what's the other one? HelloFresh. And that video is going to be uh, finally looking at the gym leaders. We haven't really posted a lot of Yellow Legacy videos. We've only posted two um, just because we've kind of been caught up. Uh, my dude, Locky, short for Lachlan. Locky. Oh. Okay, so there's two people in your photo, and the person in front is a girl. So I assume you're a girl. But if it was a guy, Locky, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what not rocks? Yeah, I, I, dude, I gotta be like, they sent me. Can I show you this? <laughs> Look at that. Those are Pokemon cards. I'm, uh, I'm giving away some of those and then I get to keep some. I don't really, I don't really know what I'm doing, but it was sick. Uh, there should be an option for the rival to keep Eevee. That wouldn't make sense because then you'd lose one of the other th three evolutions. So, yeah. You da you ban people on Discord for jokes. Um, Fire Switch, I feel like you're a troll, aren't you? Like, I feel like I've seen you with some really crazy comments before that's like... But if you were banned like a month and a half, or, like two months... If you were banned like three months ago or more... That, that's something that has kind of resolved itself. We've kind of changed our policy, so things are better now. But. Yo, amateur. Uh, the reason I, I'm sorry, I, I realized I, I, I timed you out and then I realized it shows on stream of me timing someone out is I answer your question and you kept asking it. So I just had to let you know. I was trying to do it subtly, but it wasn't subtle. <laughs> I, in, in reality, I just extra put you on blast. <laughs> Heather, what's up again? Welcome, welcome. Hello, good to see you. Um, so glad to catch another live stream. Hey. Um, not sure how to word this, but have there been any changes you've wanted to do, but due to the coding, it's too difficult. It doesn't vibe with what Yellow Legacy is trying to do. Okay. That's a really good question and a really big question. So I'm going to fight Koga, and then we're going to hit that, all right? But, like Ian Browning is already on it. I want to see those hearts right now, chat. Let's see the hearts for that spicy 20 bomb. Thank you again. You're, you've been crazy kind. And, like, I really, I always get weird when people donate, you know, bigger amounts. So I just want to say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, Koga. This is what this whole, this is what we've been waiting for, chat. This is what we have been building up to. We're a little underleveled, but I feel like we're at a, a, a respectable level now. You know what I mean? That's what I think. I think, like, all fights considered, we're not going to get pummeled, but I don't know how easy this will be. There's two battles to decide the rival's evolution. No, 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 no. You got to... You gotta learn what you're... Yeah! There it is. I, it was, it's so delayed. But I got sounds. I got sounds for that. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of loud, but it's fun. That's, um, that's Gen 2. That's riding the bullet, the, the, the magnet train. Ah, she, here we go again. Hey, what's up, Reyna? Oh, 
Oh, M-A-J-R. Um, don't worry. I I think we'll sort it, but maybe join the Discord if you're really curious. I don't really have an answer for you right now. Sorry. Um, Golbat was actually... I forgot I changed Golbat as a lead, um, and I'm not really paying attention right now. So... I thought it was actually going to be wheezing. Golbat is such a better lead because it's fast. We've buffed, we've buffed Golbat's speed to 100 to kind of take inspiration from its Crobat line. You know, we're not giving it Crobat stats, but very annoying to deal with. Like, very, very, very annoying. Like, uh, getting so stupidly lucky, but oh my god. Yeah, Golbat kind of busted. It's uh, it's inspired from his Crystal Legacy Golbat. So now we're gonna lose this fight. <laughs> but we, yeah. Now, if I had Dream Eater, it's the thing. I didn't want to walk all the way back to get Dream Eater. It's so far away. But I think it's in a good spot. Dream Eater is in Viridian, so it's like if you want to do the walk, you can get a really good TM. I suppose I could have got Psychic too. I really have not gone out of my way for Koga. I haven't really gone for the tools. Speed is king in Gen 1. Yeah, I think it makes Golbat pretty good. That 100 speed. Hmm. Hmm. Listen, this is a this is a an opinion I respect. Haunts are better than Gengar. Yeah. Um. Like, no. But like I totally respect it. Like, it's such a good design. Anyone want to watch an Ivy Sword die? <laughs> Not the way I was expecting we were going to go out. Might take it. Not if you crit. <laughs> um... Oh. Oh. Oh, stop that. So, I actually didn't realize that this version has the tentacle, because the thing is, every day we're making changes and fixes, so I'm like, I don't know what build I'm on right now. Um, solar, solar beam burn chance, no. No, no, no. Watch the move video. Michael, I love you. Go watch the move video. We explain solar beam, why it makes sense, okay? I got you. So this thing has, uh, this thing has solar beam. Michael, this is for you. This is for you. All right? You're going to get to see the power of Solar Beam in action. 185 damage times 2. 360 base power double charge move because grass sucks in Gen 1, but goddamn, that hurts. I love it, though. <laughs> It was a good fight. It was a good fight. Koga's just never going to be amazing. Yeah, the Tentacruel does a lot for him, though. Tentacruel does a lot for him. Um... Whew. Oh, yeah, you, you used to like Haunter more because you couldn't get a Gengar trading. I'm the same way with Kadabra. Kadabra was always my guy. Cause I had to, I couldn't, I couldn't get it in Alakazam. Um, I know, po I know Tentacruel isn't like perfect, but it's like Koga either sucks or he has a Tentacruel. Yeah. But he's me, he's using ninja like tactics, tactics. I don't know though. Like of all the sea creatures, I feel like, you know, Tentacruel sneaks up and puts its tentacles around you and, you know? Um, all right, M Brendan, dude, you're crazy. Thank you, man. Thank you. Let's get another round of hearts for Brendan, and then I'm going to get to Heather. 
Uh, glad to catch you live. I had so many questions. I'm very excited for this. Do you currently have planned yellow legacy changes? Documented somewhere so we don't have to repeat questions. You know what? Do you want the document? Because so many people have been asking for the document. I'll make it public. Um, okay, so here's the thing about this document. Is if you go to the bottom, that's the oldest updates. So you'll see stuff at the bottom and you'll be like, oh, he made bite ghost type. But then there'll be like two weeks later, made bite ghost. So wh whatever is at the top is the most relevant information. But there'll be some things that haven't been changed since the first patch. So you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, this is a document for me. It's not a document for, it's not a document for like the world. But because I love you and because you guys are respectful and kind, I will let you go check it out. Now, let me make sure anyone with the link can view. Cool. Be respectful. And uh, yeah. Um... All right, let's please stop talking about the Eevee um, because it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. You got to, there's three possibilities. There's three Steve illusions. It's not happening. Um, we are now going to take on Sylphco and I am going to fly because ah, that's nice. All right, Heather. I'm so sorry. It's, it's been a little bit. I want to, I want to get to this comment. I'm going to backtrack all the way to you. Uh, there we are. Heather. All right. Not sure how to word this, but have there been any changes you've wanted to do, but coding is too, like, like restricted by the hardware and the code? Um, man, I really should have thought about this question. It's a good question, though. It's a good question, though, and not just because you donated 20 bucks, but it actually is, like, a seriously, um, an important question. Things that were, there's so much that we're restricted on. Um, it's almost like, where do you even start? Um, scripting stuff. So like in you know, Crystal Legacy, we did some stuff for like Giovanni. Um, in that, you have a file for a single map. So floor two of the rocket hideout and boom, you can, you can all the script, anything that happens on that floor is there. In this, scripts are in one giant folder. It's just all the events where like character walks across the screen and says that it's all in one folder. And that is really daunting. Um, the biggest thing that we've struggled with is actually memory. Craig had to like, there's basically like six banks, six data banks. And this is nothing to do with like, you think like, well, 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 storage is a fine thing now, but it's like the way the game was coded is like six banks that it can draw from and all the data. And th the entire like basis of it, that's how much data you have. It's, it has nothing to do with like actual storage, but it's the way it's coded that like you have one megabyte of space total and that's the way it's coded. You can't add more space. So it's how do you optimize those six banks so that you can fit the most amount of stuff in it. So round one, we, like one thing is really is is like giving every important trainer um set moves right so we did this move and this move and this move and this move on on radicate let's say and then this move and this move on the next pokemon and then you do that for every single major pokemon in the game we ran out of space so it was like okay we're gonna have to use the learn sets where we can and then if it's like oh like three of its four moves at level 44 are part of its learn set we can remove those from the bank and then just like it's second move slot, we want to give it Psy Wave, so we'll give it. It's like weird finagling stuff like that, that like, I, I don't know a lot about coding, but like, as I'm getting into it, I'm like, ah, I see. So I don't know if that makes sense, but it's very much like limited in the way the game is coded. And listen, it was a miracle that they made this game happen. It was revolutionary. Like it's very easy to talk shit on the spaghetti code of gen one, but like, the fact that it exists at all is is a miracle. Um, so with that said, it's limiting, but Craig is a wizard and uh, he, I feel like 
you know, if Craig didn't exist, this ROM hack wouldn't exist because he just does work. Like he just puts in like, f like makes stuff happen. He is amazing. So yeah, <laughs> sweet. There we go. Um, ah, 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 ah. Okay, let's get back to the chat. <laughs> On blast, baby. Um, I gotta say, Charizard has officially come online. Charizard is is officially really good. Yeah, Char Char all grown up now. Um, man, guys, I just I don't know about Clefable and and Ivysaur. Like, Ivysaur is so bad at the second back second half of the game. I'm just like, why do I want... Why do I want Ivysaur? Like, for Sabrina? For Blaine? For Lorelei? For, for... Dude, Ivysaur isn't helpful in any... There's no more fights Ivysaur is, like, really good in. It's like Misty. Not, dude, Ivysaur's kind of terrible now. Damn. Damn. I'm realizing Ivysaur is... The Bulbasaur line is not good in this game. I mean, that's also fine. It doesn't have to be the best. Clefable's so OP with TMs. I know, but my thing with Clefable is, like... You have to give it TMs to be good. So... Then the question is, well, okay... If you gave... Another Pokemon... Like... Like, could you make better use of those TMs? And the, the, the answer is always yes. Like, Body Slam? There's better Body Slam users than Clefable. There's better Psychic users. There's better Ice Beam users. Pretty much anything that Clefable learns, there's another Pokemon that will use it better. So, it's like, do you want this, like, jack-of-all-trades that is always just not hitting those thresholds you want it to hit? My Personally, no. And I will say, like, Clefable has been amazing. It carried us through the early game. But, yeah. It's just Slowbro Amnesia Surf. It's true. It's busted. It's well known that all the starters don't do well. It's, yeah. Whew. Ow. Nice. Big Oat Speed. Let's go, Blastoise. Man, this team is so much better than the team we ran last time through this place. I'm very impressed with the team right now. Um, so the question is, should I pick someone else up then? We did just catch a Marowak. I've never ran Marowak. I have ran Rhydon, and Rhydon is one of the strongest Pokemon. So I know, I know Rhydon is good. But I've never ran Marowak. And you don't have the four times weakness, which could be kind of cool. But you still get good Earthquake and relatively good Rock Slide. Basically, you're trading a four times weakness for no stab. Rock slide, I guess that's how that kind of works, yeah. Alright. Clefable is getting the box. Ivysaur is getting the box. It's just... There's nowhere to train it. There's too many poison types. Um, I guess we'll pick up Marowak. You can get Aerodactyl. Yeah, that's true. We could pick up an Aerodactyl if we really wanted to. I would like to do Hitmon... Oh, I haven't done Hitmonlee. Do we want another physical attacker? Probably, right? Oh, that is the hardest sprite! <gasps> oh. 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 Guys, I, th I think... Okay, listen, we know Aaron... No, here's the thing. I already have two flyers. And look at that sprite! Spin. 
Marowak was like, yeah, you don't want me on your team? Check out this. That was so cool. We don't need a third flyer. Um, uh, I want Electabuzz, but Haunter is a great Thunderbolt user, and I don't think we need an Electabuzz. So actually, whoever said Hitmonlee... I kind of think Hitmonlee would be a really good pick here. All right, also, um, now nah, you know what we're gonna do, though? We are gonna head to Viridian. We're gonna pick up a little something. Yeah. We're gonna pick up a little something. The nice thing about cut is you stop needing it when the move gets bad, which is really nice. Uh, we we did hit Mount, Mount Chan in a previous stream, so I'm just trying to use Pokemon I haven't used before. Uh, but you can go watch that if you want. It starts at Koga. So. Who did the menu sprites? Oh, I We have a credits page. I, I can never remember people off the top of my head, unfortunately. The other thing with Dream Eater is there's no other Pokemon that's going to get sleep, so it kind of works really nice. Oh, that is a filthy, filthy ghost. A filthy, spicy learn set. What the fuck, dude? Is, is Gengar, like, the best Pokemon in the game? God damn, dude. Ugh. Ugh. 100. Off like a 130 or 120 special? 130 special. Oh my god. To be fair, I like Psychic is, is kind of just easier to run. And I can also just do that. But oh my god. Oh my god, this man. Uh, I have not linked the credits page. You don't have the credits page. Because I'm not crediting yet because the ROM hasn't released. It's just like, we're just keeping track. Uh, do you get 100% of the tip link? Yes, Louis. So, uh, YouTube takes 30% of Super Chats, which is pretty gross, in my opinion. I think there should be a hard cap. Like, if you donate, if you donate five bucks and YouTube gets $1.30, I think we can all agree, like, yeah, fair, YouTube's doing its thing. But if you donate $100, YouTube takes $30. And to me, I don't like that when I'm donating to other streamers, because I'm like, I want you to get this money. It's your call. Like, I'm not, like, I, I, but, you know, if you don't have a preference, I will say uh, donations are, are better because uh, there is no 30% fee on, on straight donations. So it's your call, but, um, you know, uh, it is preferred anyway. Yeah, Nightshade is good. We had it at 25 on Haunter. I had to move it to 35, and we've pushed Dream Eater back. But Dream Eater's a TM, so. Uh, will Vaporeon have Bubble Beam edits to its learn set? Yes, Curious Case. It, it's pointless because you get Surf. So, like, it doesn't matter. But out of principle, I, I did give it Bubble Beam at 26. Because it is the Bubble Jet Pokemon. You'll never really use Bubble Beam because you're just going to put Surf, but... No wheezing for Koga. Oh, do you guys want to know something fun? We have added in today, actually, or yesterday, we added a dynamic level curving to the gyms. So the Crystal Legacy treatment. Koga's gym six team has a wheezing. Yeah, we're about to evolve Haunter. Like, what? Like, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. You're telling me this isn't its final form. Like, okay, 92, 111. I don't know, let's look at Char- Let's look at Charizard. It's Fire-type. 94 and 80. 
Evolved. Mascot of Pokemon Red. Middle Evolution. <laughs> Mascot of Pokemon Blue. Middle Evolution. I, I don't know how Haunter is so... It's because you get access to Thunderbolt. I guess that's really it. Make your Charizard a Swords Dance build. That's actually pretty fun. That's actually a great idea, Era. Uh, what'd you major in? I majored in business, actually. We're doing the pads today. Special. A well thought out stat. I think they actually had to like last minute go backwards because um, they didn't have enough space. So it's weird because there's situations where special defense act actually exists in Gen 1. Um, I'm silly. <laughs> um... So a, a good example is if you use light screen, your special defense raises. Um, your, your special, your, your special as an offensive tool does not change, but the damage calculation when you receive damage on special moves is affected. So that's a case where special defense exists. What did you do with the two turn based moves? I don't know, dude. We just. They're there and they suck. And then other than Solar Beam, like Skull Bash and Razor Wind are still terrible. And I'm still like, oh, well, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird, it's a weird situation. The thing is, is like Solar Beam is a move that's getting used a lot, but a lot of them just like Razor Wind and Skull Bash, they're never used. So it's like not a priority. You know, there's a, there's a thousand things we got to think about. And it's like, look, Skull Bash, it's, it's, it's not at the top of my list. <laughs> <laughs> Porygon is ugly, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you mean you're like, like, Jesus Christ, Porygon is ugly. I thought you were saying Porygon is ugly, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Haunter is good, Jesus Christ. We've pushed back Dream Eater. We're going to have to push back Hypnosis for sure. Like it's gonna have to have a further push for sure. This is too much. This is this is this is like this is literally the most filthy thing I've ever seen, and it's not even evolved. Like like hypnosis like fifty five on Gengar, I guess. <laughs> Dude, Geng Gen two Gengar sprite is the best sprite. In all of Pokemon, I'll, I'll I'll say it with my chest. Best sprite of all time. And if you disagree, let's hear it. Sleep moves after Blaine. Generally, it's in the 40s, but but Gengar is so good. I think it should be 50s. I I had it at 40. I moved it to 45, and that's not this build that you're seeing here, obviously. Or maybe I had it even earlier. Like, dude, he's not even missing. <laughs> Uh. Hypnosis 45 arrow. I don't know, dude. Do you see how broken this thing is? Now, we did have to give it Thunderbolt, but... I would say I would say outside of electric types, Gengar is the best user of Thunderbolt. Like like Starmie, I guess, is the other contender that comes to mind. Um, dude, this is this is disgusting. Just just like just give me Gengar. Um, Hypnosis is sixty percent accurate, dude. It doesn't matter. Like. <laughs> dead <laughs> like <laughs> dude 
This is this is disgusting. I get healing? Like I sleep you, I heal. And and now it's going to evolve. <laughs> Oh, Chansey. Chansey is a really good... Yeah, that's fair. Not, like, ideal because it's slow, but... Yeah, I can't really argue with that. Um, yeah, is it possible to remove the enemy debuff? Oh, in hard mode, I think the one... F okay, that's one reason to not evolve your Haunter. <laughs> oh, the Haunter sprite is so much better. Anyway. Um, oh, sorry, excuse me. Looking for... Oh, uh, yeah, this is not the best. Oh, God, Mega Drain? Like, we could put that on Gengar if you don't, you know? You could do Psychic Mega Drain instead of Hypnosis Dream Eater. That's a, like, ridiculous build. Blastoise is Ice Beam. Excuse me, at 38. Um... Okay. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna, f no, it's a later TM for sure. 48. Yeah. The one I didn't check. Oh, Blastoise doesn't get, oh, Marowak doesn't get Rock Slide? Daniel, look at that. Wow. Hmm. I kind of feel like Marowak should learn Rock Slide. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm silly, but it just seems, Headbutt and Bone Meringue. It's not a bad set, but... All right, what you got, buddy? This is uh, Earthquake power, by the way. This is 100 base power. It is inaccurate, but that's the price you pay for like early earthquake even aerodactyl doesn't get rock slide in gen 1 that's a good point yeah marowak with special coverage oh focus energy with two hit oh yeah let's do that let's do that let's do focus energy bone meringue <laughs> crit that wasn't a crit. Okay, wow. Enjoying Drowsy, Voltorb, Sandshrew, Pikachu, Magikarp. Hey. <laughs> Alright. The thing is, like, there's a lot of situations in the second half of the game where you're under-leveled, and I think that has to be intentional, because otherwise, like, Otherwise, like, the game is easy because we've buffed so many Pokemon. Yeah, our box yellow spread is really good. Hey, what's up, Chubby? Appreciate it. Hope you had a good day, too. Whew. Wow. This looks pretty good. Um, I'm not going to fight through that. Hitmonlee is a little under leveled. I won't lie. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a lot of, uh, investment for, it's probably should have picked it up after Erica or at Erica really. Trade Evo does not exist. It's fair for under leveled. Far from under leveled. It's true. Yellow Weezing Sprite is trash, dude. There's worse Weezing Sprites. For sure. And you're dead. Damn. Damn. This man is going hard. I mean, Marowak's kind of slow, so it focused energy actually didn't do any crits, but... No, we're not fixing Toxic. Don't fix what's not broken. Looks like Meat Wad. <laughs> I don't know why that term is so funny to me, but... 
We're a little underleveled. That's kind of the goal, though. You should be underleveled. Like, Gen 1 is a game where that you play underleveled, you know? Don't like that matchup. Uh, Gengar. Gengar's gonna get a really nice back sprite upgrade. Very excited for the lad. Very excited for the lad. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the antidote because, oh, chat. So this is something I've never seen in generation one before. Just, just wait for it. It wasn't a one shot, but man, that felt good. The thing is, is that, that's just not Gengar. Gengar has spikes on his, like, he's spiky. It's like, tell me about Gengar. It's just not accurate. Largely from bad. Difficultly largely from bad learn sets. Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. That is a rude Gengar moveset, right? Like, like, actually criminal. <laughs> oh, come on. Hits me with a flamethrower, too. I'm just, I just want to heal. <laughs> like, just let me heal. Get me out of here. I want to <laughs> want to heal. Yeah, it does look like a bit of a meat wad, but I don't know. I've seen worse sprites. Ooh, the other fossil is going to be in Seafoam Islands, and the other Hitmon is going to be in Victory Road. Good question. Ooh, Red and Blue had terrible movesets on bosses, too. Great point. Great point. Is this going to be hard for a casual player? Um, not a difficulty hack. I would say like, it'll be as hard as Crystal Legacy, hopefully. So harder than base Pokemon, because you know, we're all adults now and we don't want a game that's as easy as it was for us when we were children, um, but not a difficulty hack. Rapidash with that flamethrower. It's the thing, you got a lot of that, you know? Uh, I don't know, Dylan, whether this will be SGB. It's a .GBC folder, so. Carbos. Uh, I think this will be harder maybe because of the lack of post-game, which means the levels go much higher and we can remove, do more with final teams. Yeah. Um, to be fair, too, like, this game... Like, Gen 1, Pokemon is harder than Crystal. Like, like Red and Blue and Yellow are harder games than Crystal. So, like, it, it does make sense that this might be a little harder than Legacy. Yeah. Where is Swords Dance? Where is anything? Why is anything? Where am I? <laughs> you know what? Charizard, you deserve to live. But Hypno, ah, so close. Swords Dance needs the card key. <sighs> I don't think I just got Swords Dance, I just got Earthquake. I've learned, uh, I've learned the other place. <sighs> Sniped me. But I haven't learned this place. Hey, it's an Electabuzz. That's fun. Ghost is so good because... Oh, wow. 
tanky boy. It just it just kind of hits everything for good damage. It's nice to see something go toe to toe with Gengar. That was great. It's like over in that corner in one of the floors. Excuse me. Um, I think slash is yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna like. The thing is, by the time we get the heal pad, we're gonna be through this. I just, bro, this, <laughs> it's too big. It's too much stuff here. Team is doing great, but there's just, I just don't know. I don't know if I could make it through here. I don't know where I'm going. Guy doesn't go for psychic. What a scrub. Very grateful. Ugh. Uh. All right, I got to get out of here. Chief was intended to be the self-co president. Oh, cool. Um, I feel like if you box Pikachu, it shouldn't follow you. Because you can only carry six Pokemon, so it'd be kind of weird. Ah, uh, you can dig out of Sylph, and you can't heal with the PC. So silly. Three characters to choose from? No. So if you saw our post today, that's going to be that's going to be replacing this model. This is Leaf, technically. Um, I feel like I've been streaming so much with this character and everyone's going to be like, wait, what? It's not even the right person. Um, but yeah, we, we decided to go with the Gen 1 art style. One of the last mandatory fights of Sylph Go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Going to get there. Don't you even think about it. Oh my God, I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I'm doing it, I'm locking into Thrash. There it is, you're dead. You idiot. You idiot. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah, we could give Blast Toys or, or, or Charizard Earthquake, couldn't we? Because then we'd have two Earthquake users, basically, because Bone Meringue is Earthquake. That'd be kind of cool. Nice. This is a really good team, though. Like, last time I went through here, I was struggling much harder. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Like, strictly speaking, Marowak would be better with just Earthquake, but I think having two Earthquakes is better. Okay. I, I know, It's like, I know where the card key is. I just didn't know the floor. You know what I mean? Um, What floor was that? Was that five? Okay, so fi fifth floor. Really good to know that. Is this Swords Dance? I think, I think nine is Swords Dance. Oh, takedown. Uh... No, double t double edge. Yeah, so the reason the sound cuts off when I speed up is because it's really annoying to hear this the gameplay sped up. So it's I just I I think it personally think it sounds better to just cut it off. Nice thing is we've made it through this everything, so we don't really have a lot of people to fight now. It's weird how takedown is here and double edges 
Should we swap takedown and double edge now that t double edge is being buffed? And takedown has also been buffed? Because takedown is later than double edged. I don't know. I feel like I, having double edge this run has been like, that seems a little strong. I vote swap the two TMs. Yeah, because it's not even like, you know, like we've talked about body slam on the SSN, and that's just like so iconic to the game. You couldn't move body slam, but we haven't touched body slams, which, you know what I mean? But like, given that it's been buffed, I think it's more fair to hold it off. Because even like takedown would be pretty nasty on Pidgeot. Oh my God. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. Now. It's this way. And then it's this way. This game predicted Musk office culture. That's funny. All right, rival, Fievel. Flary. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Be nice if I had Ice Beam right now. Looking back on this run, I should have just given Blastoise Ice Beam when I had the chance. Honestly, I may as well do it now. There's no other Pokemon that we're gonna have that can run it. Ah, that might not be true. I don't. I don't think we're gonna run uh, Hitmonlee. I don't think. I don't think we're at our sixth Pokemon yet. I think. I think I'm still sitting on it. On it. Um. I don't know. Oh yeah, Super Zack. We gave we gave Pharaoh Sharpen. This is a fa focus energy and Sharpen just feels. I, I know they don't stack, but it's like oh, it's it you know it learns some some of those moves. Uh, Porygon's gonna be too low level in this build to to run. Not Lapras. No, we already have a Water type. I've seen this Pharaoh try to set up and get two shot in multiple battles. Um, I, I would say it's not really a decision for like teams. It's it's more of a thing for for the player. That like if you don't want to use Dodrio, Pharaoh gets like kind of a cool setup move, I guess. I don't want to use rare candies this run because I'm actually trying to like gauge experience yield and level curves and stuff. So. There it is. Oh, I'm I'm thrashing. I'm like, why did it just attack? That was so crazy. Like it just came out and attacked, and I did. <laughs> that was kind of like, I don't know. It just felt like Flareon was like cheating. Is Flareon slow? I kind of just thought all the evolutions were fast. Huh. Could scoop Articuno. That would be another flyer, though. <sighs> uh. mm. Hmm. Mid speed. Apparently, a lot of blast always, dude. Like, what? Oh, we should probably heal before Geo. All right, chat. Big fight coming up. That flamethrower, dude. Sure did. I mean, it's a pretty specially weak Pokemon, but nonetheless. It's nice to see Pokemon using Flamethrower, though. 65 speed. Wow, slow boy. All right, I'm not healing again. So whatever we do is what we do. 
Okay, so Giovanni too. Dude, Giovanni's just really good in these games. Um, <laughs> scary, scary man. Oh my god. Eat a dick, wheezing. Um, no, not healing. So, this is it. Yeah, they all get 130 in a stat. Oh my god, right. There's three major fights back to back. I totally forgot about these fools. Listen. Listen there, buddy. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit a focus energy. We're going to hit a focus... Oh, I guess you can only do one. We're going to hit a headbutt. And we're going to do some crit bone meringues here. If you give... The problem with giving Flareon 130 special is that you're giving it 130 special defense too so it's it's hard to fix whatever Marowak yeah I have seen the argument for Charizard special stat to be raised I have seen a lot of that for this game specifically um, oh, well, Marowak, you're doing good. I, I gotta say, you know, I'm impressed overall. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't felt like Charizard is especially bad. All right, chat. I think we're going to call it for questions for tonight. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ninja. Okay, it's going to take a sec. But you're going to get a really cool thing coming in here. I feel like it's going to take like a minute to pop up. But just wait, okay? <laughs> we have a special thing for $50 donos and up. A special song. We just got to wait for it to come through. Uh, Ninja264 with the 50 bomb bro bless you bless you man thank you so much ninja says thank you just isn't enough for the amount of oh dude hell yeah thank you just isn't enough for the amount of enjoyment i've had with crystal legacy i can't wait for the other legacy to come up thank you so much man i appreciate that chat i need to see a round of hearts for this legend right here that is a Dude, that is a big tip. Like you drop, like I, I'll, I like to say it in this way. Like you drop fifty at a restaurant. That is a fat tip. So, dude, I am so glad that you love the game. Thank you so much. And we're gonna sit here, and I don't know what is up with the delay. I don't know why Streamlabs is is missing. Is is, is it's not even like it's missing anything. There it is. <laughs> Okay, I don't know, what do we think? It's a little loud right now. I'm gonna turn it down just a touch. Like, I wanted this to pop up as soon as you drop it. This is, uh, this is SSN music. You didn't know this was coming. You didn't know this was coming. Little special secret. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Dude, it, it's a slapper. It is a slapper. <laughs> we got that hype before the boss showdown. Dude. Thank you so much, Ninja. Chat, I love, I love to see it. The man drops the beat. Yes, sir. The man just interrupted the stream. He said, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Maybe it's a little long. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Dude, Pidgeot be dancing. No, he doesn't have the beat. <sighs> that was fun. And you became a member for one month. Oh, first month, yeah. <laughs> Don't care how long this pops. Dude. <laughs> Giovanni, enough vibing. Get in here already. Yeah, so I just want that to happen, but I want it to... I want. I don't know why it was delayed. I want the sound as soon as you drop it. What happens when someone tips 100? Listen. If you're a fan of Call of Duty Zombies, you might know. That's all I will say. <laughs> Giovanni just standing there. Like, uh, is he gonna do this? All right. I actually didn't know what he was starting with. So we're gonna have to sack it, Monly. Oh, goes for the harden. I'll go for the focus energy. I'll go for the double kick. And I'll ignore those. We'll hit the crit. Nope. <laughs> it's just gonna keep going for harden. No crits. Just standing there menacingly, bopping. There's the crab hammer. Is crab hammer an always crit move? Because that might be really busted. Haven't tried it yet. Okay. Ooh! Doesn't have that special. Lake Guardian theme. It's currently not, but that is a huge. Heater. It, it, it's true, yeah, only Kingler gets it. Very valid. Definitely gives Kingler a niche. That it Okay. <laughs> uh oh, you know what? Something else on its team had ice beam, and I, I probably swapped the, the order of the teams. Um check Giovanni 2's order. Machoke used Ice Beam. <laughs> Alrighty, big golem. Oh, you know, I will say, like, running this game with a good team, I'm finding it to be a bit easier. Um... The last game I ran, I didn't have as quite as a good team, and I didn't fight every single... Fight, and I definitely but then the level 40 Persian comes out and you're like oh, okay and then it throws Thunderbolt down on your Blastoise and you're like alright Giovanni's pretty good um <laughs> it's gotta be Gengar Gengar's actually a pretty good counter I'm going to not run Hypnosis because it's just so broken and I think I've already decided it won't have it but yeah I don't know, man. Even without the improved AI, it's... Yeah, Gengar, Gengar certainly walls this thing. Hey, what's up, Javier? Yeah, really good counter to Persian. Because it can't, it can't get hit by its normal moves. Like, we have a cracked team, to be fair. Persian needs Nightshade. I don't know. I, I think all Pokemon should have a hard counter. Like, uh, you know, there's there's counters for all for most Pokemon. So it, I like I'm not gonna like change things because like oh this one Pokemon's really good against it. Um, no, it felt it felt fine. Gen one the Gen and Gen one stands for Jengar. <laughs> Here, maybe this will help. Yeah, way, way, way late. I agree, John. Yeah, I'm thinking like 50. 50, maybe 55. Like, the thing with Gengar getting Hypnosis is it's like one of the best special attackers in the game and sleep. It's too much. And like, and now like Ghost is actually good. I think Hypnosis is going to have to be later than it is even on a lot of other Pokemon. All Pokemon should have amazing coverage. I mean, yes, but the thing with Gen 1 is you don't want to go too hard in that idea because the purpose of the game in Gen 1 is it's a JRPG where you get a fire type 
And that fire type is probably only going to have fire moves unless you want to give it like a resource. Um, and that's something you just want to consider. <laughs> Pronouncing Gengar with a hard first G. Uh, wouldn't it be a soft, like with a J, like soft, a soft G, wouldn't it be? G isn't that a hard G and a soft G? I don't really know, but Jengar. There was way too, oh, you're being sarcastic. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like you want the enemies to have coverage, but like TM coverage, not learn set coverage. All right, chat, that's it. We're done actually. So we're going to call it right there. This has been a lot of fun. Um... I think we're, I think we're, we're learning things. I needed to do play some playthroughs to really get a feel for the game and all that stuff. So yeah, it is bedtime. Why do you skip the free switch? Oh, uh, because I want to see how the game feels if you're not getting a free switch. Cause the free, the free, the free switch is really OP and it kind of breaks the game. Um, so I want to play the game on, on set mode, but only for the, the major fights to save time. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, is like this build that you guys are seeing is now like a week and a half old. <laughs> so there's already so many more changes that have happened and like I'll definitely do another stream of this game before the final version comes out when it's, when it's closer. But I don't know, this is, I think it's getting a good idea of where we're at with the ROM hack and also just like showing you guys everything. Um, it's good for me. I think it's good for you guys, especially because we haven't been able to like show a bunch of videos because we're kind of behind, but we got videos coming out. So anyways, guys, much love. Thank you so much for coming out and I will see you soon. Thank you, Heather, for the big bomb. Thank you, uh, Ninja, for the big bomb as well. I guess you can't really see it, but, but anyway, um, and everyone, thanks for coming out.